So whatever projects you work around with in CapCut, it gets stored out in a workspace. Over here, I am in the home page currently, and you can see that I got four recent projects right here that you can see. But if I were to go around onto my TGT workspace, then you can see the projects over here. It's being collected over here. So this is the all projects right here. You can go around and see projects over here. You can see the exported videos right here, just like this, which is stored. And all of them are stored over here in your given, um, um, uh, like uh, the space right here. You can go around and see the different materials that you have uploaded over here for your projects as well over here. And you can go around and delete them and manage them according to how you want. So now if I were to go around on to, let's say, create a new workspace right here, then what I can do is I can go around and let's say, for example, second workspace right here, just like this for creativity. Let's say, for example, I'm going to say creativity over here. So this will be a second workspace for creativity. You can go around, invite out other members as well and click on create space. Once you do that, a second workspace is created, as you can see, and this workspace is empty over here. So here, what you can do is you can create a video or an image. Let me just go around and create a video right here. So once you do that, what happens is that this um, is a project of its own right here, and this is in that particular workspace. Let me just go around and bring in, let's say, for example, media here from the uh, project right here or in the cloud you can see that you can select out the digital workspace and get the media from there as well and you can go around bring in let's say for example this video clip right here and this is a project right here so let me just go around over here back onto home page right here just like this so once i click on this back onto home page it'll go back and in my second workspace, as I created a new project, you can see that this is what you have right here. You have the create new uh, project from over here as well. Let me, but let me just go around over here, uh, just like this, create a new project, select out anything, and then it gets saved onto the workspace that you selected right here. On the start, if I were to create, uh, click on create a new workspace right here, then you can see that this is what you have. You get onto a new project. Um, uh, the workspace is automatically chosen. And then what you can also do is you can transfer the project between the workspace if you want to. So that is how you can go around and manage out the workspace inside of CapCut. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.